Good afternoon, I'm Martin Dockery from Pioneer DJ and welcome to the Pioneer DJ stand here at Music Messe in Frankfurt. Uh, as well as launching the DJ M2000, we're also introducing our new mid to uh, entry level players, the CDJ350 and the accompanying mixer, the DJ M350. Okay, so first of all, the CDJ350 is a multi-format player. So like the CDJ2000 and the 900, um, the CDJ350 is a MIDI controller. Uh, you can also play back from USB devices and also good old fashioned disc as well. Um, in addition to that, uh, not only does it play MP3 formats, it will also play AAC, WAV and AIFF files. So every type of device and every type of format will throw at it, it can play back. More so than uh, the, the current players around about that price point in the range. Um, okay, so I think the most important thing about the CDJ350 is that it is record box compatible. So for all the people that have been interested in record box but haven't been able to reach the 900 or the 2000, we've now got the 350 where you can use all of the music management features of record box software. Um, the CDJ350 is going to retail at around about £529, so it's a lot more accessible than its bigger brother and sister. Um, okay, so to start off with, um, we're we're playing back from a USB key here. Um, it's quite easy to select through your indexes. You just use this rotary pop um, and you can see we've got things like the year, uh, BPM, time, bit rate, colour, folder, search. So for example if we go into search we hit enter and you can then search alphabetically, much like you can on the needle search on the CDJ2000. Um, but let's go back and let's look in, for example, playlists. You hit enter, you can scroll through your playlists. Uh, let's go into this one, for example. Uh, select the track that you want in the playlist. Hit enter, and you're queued up and ready to play. So, nice and easy way of making uh, navigation sense of your mass storage devices. Uh, okay, so in this track, uh, we want to press play, so we just hit play, ready to go. One of the uh, unique strengths about the CDJ350 is if you, if you can see the BPM counter here, zoom in on that. As I go up and down with the pitch fader, you can see that we're working in increments of 0.10 of a BPM. So this would allow me to set a nice accurate BPM setting on the pitch fader. So there we've got 128.6. I could then do the same as I'm queuing up the track on the next player, I could also use the pitch fader to set that to 128.6. So it allows you to, to do some accurate beat match mixing um, without feeling any of the frustrations that you would normally do if you're a, if you're a, if you're a starter DJ. Um, we do know that a lot of DJs, if they can't beat match straight away, a lot of them might give up, so we're making that easy for them. You still have to do a little bit of pitch bending, but it makes the job a lot easier. Um, and you can take that a step further. If you hit BPM lock, it then takes you into master BPM. So using this rotary pot, you can select what BPM you want your whole set to be. So for example, I've got it set to 127.9. I then hit enter, and it locks the tempo to 127.9. So it doesn't matter what track I put in there, it will automatically play at that preset BPM. So I don't even need to touch the pitch fader. Of course, I can then do the same on the other player, and the whole set is locked at that BPM. Now, we know that uh, a lot of the attraction with DBS systems and software is that it will pretty much lock the BPM for you. So it's really offering you that kind of, uh, that kind of facility and function. Um, to take that a step further, you've got two displays on the screen. You've got your browsing section, or you've got your information section. Now the information section gives you the information of the actual track. And then if we go into to this part, what it's actually showing us is the bars of the track. So if I hit play, it's showing a simple one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that is the bar of the track. So what it's telling you is, if you want to not only do beat match mixing, but almost but, but as well as bar match mixing, you start your you start your mix off when the arrow is in the far left of that bar. Then that's when you begin your mix. 
So it's almost educational. It's, it's teaching you how to not only beat match, it's teaching you how to get your uh, uh, your bars matched as well. Okay, so a few other features uh, like the CJ 400. We've also got also beat loop. So press that, and it puts me in a four beat loop. I can then double up the beat, treble up, and so on and so forth, and then come out back to the track. So that's a favourite feature on the 400, so we've kept that on the 350. Um, the actual feel of the unit, the, uh, the jog wheel has been really nice and dampened uh, compared to other units that we've had in this price point. Um, the jog wheel itself is heavier, so pitch bending feels a lot more natural and a lot more like the uh, CJ2000 and 900. Um, Another function we've added is, uh, is playlisting. So this works similar to the, uh, the tag function that you get on our, uh, on our 2000 and 900. And it also works in conjunction with record box. The way this works is if we go back to searching through by track, for example. I'm gonna go into track, uh, select through the track. So I'm gonna select that one for argument's sake. Um, and I want to put that into a playlist. I just hit playlist, it says add to either a new playlist, so I can compile a new playlist, or I can add it into one of the playlists that we've already got. So I want to put it into playlist two, just hit enter, success, and I then put that track into playlist two. So it allows you to make playlists on the fly. Any playlist that you make on the fly will then be remembered, and when you plug that key back into record box, you can see your playlist, just the same way as you see your, your tag list with the 2000 and the 900. Um, so that in a nutshell is the uh, CDJ 350. We then move on to the mixer, the DJ M350. Fairly simple, um, two channel mixer, high quality audio. Um, we've done away with the BPM effects on this mixer and instead we've taken the whole colour effects that people are familiar with on the DJ M800 and put them into, this, uh, into the DJ M350. So you simply select the effect that you want, so if I want to filter, I just use the rotary box to control the filter. And it's got a real nice attack on it. You then got crush, quite straightforward, simple bit crusher, much like the DJ. We then got jet. So it creates kind of like a flange or electronic wave effect. And then gates act as a compressor on the low end or a compressor on the high end. So there's some simple effects on the uh, on the DJN 350, but I think the real unique feature uh, and, and what's going to be one of the most popular features on the DJN 350 is the USB record function. Now, simply what you would do is you would put a USB key into the port up there, uh, you would then start your set, you press record and you start to record your set into the USB key. Now, when you start to play a new track in the mix, you simply hit the track mark button there and it then puts a track marker into your, into your mix on your, on your USB device. So you'll have track one, two, three, four, five, whatever, whatever. Um, and it would uh, it record them as high quality WAV files. Um, you would then take your USB key out, put it back into your computer, you would view the content on that USB device and you'll see a folder that says DJM. Um, you then go into the DJM folder and it will give you Rec 1, sorry, a folder that says Rec 1, Rec 2, Rec 3, Rec 4. And basically they are the tracks in your mix um, and you just add your ID and tag into that. Now, the other beauty about this feature is you can put your vinyl turntable on one side and you can really easily digitise your vinyl collection so you can record your vinyl directly onto your USB device as a high quality WAV file. Um, I've been doing that myself and I find it really useful. Um, then of course you can play back as well, you can play back from the USB through the mixer. So you put the USB key in, you hit play, you can search across the tracks and this will then become your, your volume. Um, 
And that's it. Very, very straightforward. Uh, DJM 350 uh, will break. Uh, and 